Hey guys, welcome back. Maris here and today we have Grounded. Let's talk about speed. Something you probably never thought of before, but let me give you a second and if you can answer these questions, then this video is not for you. How much bonus speed is from Aphid Slippers? How much bonus speed is from Spider Armor Set? How much speed bonus is from Explorer uh, bonus? The new perk? each of those tiers and what happens when you combine them oh probably not all the answers you have so stick with the video i will be as fast as possible so let me quickly show you what i did how i did and then the all results so you know better how to play the game so basically this game mechanic uh if you're wondering where i am as you can see uh thirst hunger and health is overrated that's obviously so these are the other corner of screen the blanking icons now you cannot unsee them so what i did went in silent out of the construction this area and this is my testing ground i've been here quite some days this is straight line without any obstacles nothing just at the border I can walk, run with slippers, without slippers, and take measurements and then compare them and see what's the difference. Once we have difference, what's the bonus? So, simple as that. Let me already, I'll set myself on walking because it's awesome. <laughs> because I know how long, how long it takes. But for now, let's switch over to the results. And the results are simple. Um, there are two big tables, as you can see, this is everything walking, just so we can measure pure uh, bone from each item. And then, which is more applicable to real world, is whenever you run. Run, then you run out of stamina, stamina in 3 seconds come back if you don't have any bonus. then you can run for again 25 seconds, and so on and so on and so on. So that's what I doing and these are results as you can see let me quickly explain the distance i showed you this is the number just from the chronometer i took then it's turned into seconds and as you can see we take 100 percent zero bonus it is walking extra bonus for you if you were thinking how much slower is crouching it's half of the speed simple as that and yes I crouched almost seven minutes to measure and I can deliver you the data. Don't mind those little um, after comma, the numbers. I left them specifically because this is a calculation and my slow hands uh, a little error. So that's understandable. So then I calculated also running. Yeah, the data you see here in which is green it means it comes and is from um, test result experiment, right? It, it is measured, it is hard data. Whenever you see yellow, for example, these, these are my rough calculations. This is just calculations. So if the same distance, I'm currently walking in the background, which is actually a little bit annoying because it's a moving screen. If I can run without any stop or stamina, non-stop so this is as you can see um i'll give you also the basics about how to calculate things let's say and um, you can run for 25 seconds for some distance then you run out of stamina you immediately stop then walk back the same distance you will have the number 43 seconds that is walking, this is running speed. And as we know, all my walking distance for this, this, uh, my took 200 seconds. So we can easily multiply the wide and get this is the time, which gives first real number to work with. Well, after the crouching, is running without in, in short distances in 25 second, um, distant um, time periods you have speed increasement by 73 percent just i will leave it 
the information for that. But if we are talking about longer distances, as I took measurements in, in this distance, uh, where 25 second run, 3 second stamina region, and then the cycle repeats. So 28 second cycle. Then all distance I took, that's that measurement, and overall increasement is 60%. So we will work with that number, not in short distance burst, okay? And as you can see, all the data is right in front of you. The same distance. So th that's the thing. We don't care about distance. The only thing why I took this, this particular point was uh, the bigger distance, the more numbers, the less will be um, my errors, how fast or slow I click the um, timer. That's it. So we can, and of course, straight lines, so there's no turning, jumping, nothing, spending stamina anywhere else, nothing, right? So, and all these, all these measurements are just walking. Why? Because you want to know what's the bonus of it. And I will give you more explanation why you need that. So Afid slippers, as you can see, this probably is 20%. This is the calculation done, shows 90 something. As, as we can understand, there's some error. Spider armor set, which is the promise when you have all three items from your uh, spider armor. You see the difference, it's already 20% or 33% by walking. What? What? What the hell? That's not it. Latest perks. I was running all the time like, I'm speed, I'm flash, yes. And uh, now I do the calculations. 2.5% mm. bonus? What the hell is this? You can't even feel it anywhere. Anyhow, this is nothing. So yeah, after, after this, this experiment I did, uh, it, it's also actually well for good for myself because from now on this exploration bonus no more and why i don't have a third um this bonus tier because currently there i think there there are no 50 landmarks in the map which is needed to have this third tier it will come later in the game currently this is my just rough estimation if the bonus for tier one, yes, I loaded the previous game and, and came back here to took a measurement with one tier. Bonus this 2.5%. Then this most likely will be 5.5%. And this my if I need to place a bet, I'll say it will be 9.5% bonus, not 10, 9.5. Just because the difference is 2.5. This is by 3% increasement, and this is by 4% increasement from previous. So, so that's just, I'm, I'm, I'll just leave it there. So again, the outcome will be moving. But this is the interesting part. So you see, I took what I can measure. So exploration bonus 2. And um, that I can measure. And with spider armor, and with aphid slippers, we see the bonus. This is nice. This is what I measured, but interesting part starts here. What are these? And yes, above them you see the markers, which shows what they are. Um, there are two bonuses, and in games there are two possible ways. Either those bonuses are calculated separately and summed up, just one plus another, or if you have a bonus and you have another bonus, they are multiplied. The difference is by multiple with multiplied approach you will have more bonus the more bonuses you multiply it's more than just summing up and this is what i'm actually proving myself because i was questioning uh, the game sums up or calculate so we have spider armor and we have exploration bonus and we have them measured right here ladies and gentlemen we have those numbers when you add those numbers up, just sum plus sum, this is the calculation. And you see this is why the plus sign is above them. As you can see, there is quite some difference. Someone would say that's an error of my measurement. But if you multiply them, if you 
multiply the numbers, which would be 1, 1.33 times 1.5, this is the outcome. Yeah, this is the actual formula. This is the outcome. And you see, exactly on point is a little bit error, which means this is crucial to understand why I will also explain the game uses multiplication feature, kinda. Because g games are different. These are just programmed, right? There's no right or wrong approach. Just one more beneficial than other, okay? Why it is important? My guess is speed is calculated the same way, stamina is calculated the same way, stamina region is calculated the same way, and the damage is calculated the same way. There are of these aspects are really hard to measure in the game. We have also a perk that gives maximum stamina, and we have stamina from armor, right? If we use both of them, or the same goes for region, stamina region, it is so hard to calculate, and, and because we don't have the number, uh, actual data that can prove this is too little timer and gaug to, to actually measure. So, I will just say, this is my current, let's say, theory, by speed that we can measure quite accurately, and we see, yes, that it, it's there, it's there, it's multiplication. Okay, my wild guess with exploration bonus 3, the absolute maximum speed by walking, will the bonus will be 45%. Yes, last, last, last but not least, uh, this is uh, all the same with running. As you can see, I fit slippers when you run the distance I showed you at the beginning. Uh, it's approximately almost twice as fast you are running. The bonus is 95%, so in total it's 195% of the walking speed. It's again against walking, so I choose walking, I could pick up also running, but these are different numbers, so I choose the same base. The same base for book, this is the same book, you see the exact same numbers, and um, so we see the difference. And what we just learned from multiplication means this is the crucial part, we see it in action. You have a walking speed, then you have, okay, first walking speed, then you have a running bonus, just by running you have multiplication, then you have something you wear, that's another multiplication, added. and then you have um, this, this perk. As I said before, the more you have, the more bonus outcome is, is, is there. And it's easy to prove, because if it's just added up, there will be, would be the same, basically, difference. Uh, whenever you throw a new number, a constant distance between every single one of them, which is not the case. As you can see, Aphid Slippers, if previously we had before Aphid Slippers and Spider Armor, 20 and 33%, and so 13% difference between them, right? Look at this, here, it's already 20% difference. You choose one or another. And uh, the set bonus, between them there's already, well, 2-3% difference, that's one thing. But, what, th these are just single bonuses. What happens when you multiply them? You see? Now, we have exploration bonus and spider against aphid slippers there is already 23 percent difference to wear one or to wear another bonus which leads to the basic basically summary i will quickly summarize it up all the numbers you see um which is one interesting thing you are running currently at maximum speed with spider armor more than twice then you're walking. So this is, this is quite cute. I like it. A lovely, basically different, which is quite significant. And uh, yeah, long story short, yeah, and possibly the, the, the highest bonus from walking will be with exploration bonus, if not another um, item introduced in the game.
But let's summarize that. First, we learned crouching is half of the speed. Second, what we learned is fit slippers are no go. They are not good. They break also really fast. There's just bonus of the speed when you wear a, a spider armor set. You have stamina region and speed. So spider armor bonus, um, not bonus, but spider armor itself, the set. Everyone knows it's good. I'm just reassuring the difference. Currently, when the patch is nerfed, there is no need to go a patch, spider, uh, chest armor, and a fit slipper. That was my previously go to set. Currently, it's simple as that. Spider armor set, full set, that's it. You have stamina, you have speed, you have everything you need, you have solid armor, that's it. Um, third thing, what we learned, this is game users motivation, not and uh, summing up bonuses, quite significant. The more you have, the more you add, the more you will have. Basic idea, but uh, just proven myself and also others to think about it. And last but not least, what was the last bonus? Yeah, the. No, that's. I think that's it, yeah. <laughs> the exploration. The exploration 3, we will. Do we don't know. I just placed my bets how big the bonus will be. No one knows. And. Um, yeah, okay. I'll give you one extra bonus because most likely I will not make a separate video for it. Maybe I will, but if you're wondering what's happening here, um, yeah, this is bad bonds. This is how I will go. This is my mechanical setup. Um, you have you have this cope the grass bonus, which basically, but it gives it time after time you have a bonus on your critical. It happens also on chopping grass. So what I did here, I chopped grass, took measurements to understand what's the chance, what's the percentage of this happening. Outcome, 8%. There's 8% by making 300 hits, 300 chops, uh, 24 times it was a critical. So that's it, extra bonus if you're wondering. To... So these perk bonuses are small, kind of, but of course, welcome bonus because three extra things you can boost up but speed will not be one of them <laughs> not at least not for me all right guys thank you for watching if you like the video this i will appreciate it if you have any question down in comment section i still answer every single one of them at least i'm trying to and you know the drill we will meet in next videos cheers